Virtual reality headset makers are out in force at GDC, aiming to lure the developers who can animate their devices with absorbing new games. Oculus VR still plans to pursue high-end PC-tethered headsets, but says mobile VR will soon hit the mainstream. Samsung's portable headset, powered by Oculus technology, Gear VR, looks likely to become a consumer product by the end of the year. Other players in the sector include Sony, which didn't demo its new second-generation Project Morpheus prototype due to hardware shortages. Graphics chip company NVIDIA is rumored to be working on a headset, and Chinese smartphone maker HTC is developing one with Valve. It's a race for commercial viability in an untested market. And virtual reality certainly promises to offer some new angles on gaming and new perspectives, no pun intended. But whether or not it's actually going to translate into major sales or major interest from the mainstream is yet to be determined. We're still in the early days, even after 20 years, if you would believe. Xbox creator Microsoft's latest gaming project, HoloLens, is not virtual but augmented reality, where a graphics layer is superimposed over the world we see, rather than replacing it with full immersion. One startup that's been experimenting with VR and AR is Swiss firm MindMace, inventors of a platform called MindLeap. These neuro goggles combine cameras and sensors which allow them to track your hands and even monitor your brain activity. They're already being used to help rehabilitate stroke patients. We can do this in the medical space and have tangible applications, right? And coming back to all the way in a gaming space where it's more immersive, moving from just 2D gaming experiences and eventually into lifestyle kind of devices where you can do other things. Plenty of small companies are gambling on the success of VR, including New York-based Feel Real. Its Ukrainian co-founders have created a mask that fits onto the Oculus Rift and other headsets, offering a multi-sensory experience. So we would like to show that you can feel much more in virtual, like playing the 3D games and watching 3D movies. You could feel the, the different sensory effects, like hot, cold air, then um, vibration. Feel Reels about to launch on Kickstarter, hoping to stir up public interest in the potential of virtual reality.